What's going on y'all, Attorney Tom here, emergency video. I actually was not planning on making a video tonight because it is very late and I have a huge mediation in the morning. But one of my favorite YouTubers, CoffeeZilla, was threatened with a lawsuit over his recent Save the Kids scandal. So you know what? Who needs sleep? <laughs> I apologize in advance if this video is a little rough. I'm just going to give my analysis on the situation. Now, it's important to note if my king, CoffeeZilla, who I've never talked to, by the way, I've messaged him before a few months ago like a total simp because I'm kind of a fanboy. This isn't legal advice. Sorry, man. Just, you know, this is overall information, not legal advice, not your lawyer. But if you want to talk, shoot me a message. Let's jump into it. If anybody needs context, I'm going to link CoffeeZilla's videos down below. You can go watch them. I'm not going to do a recap because I don't have time. Here's the deal. The gentleman previously known as Phase K is threatening to sue CoffeeZilla. CoffeeZilla, and I only know this because I'm a fan of his on YouTube, is a Texas citizen. So likely jurisdiction will have to be in Texas, which is great because I am a Texas attorney. Phase K's lawyers are threatening to sue CoffeeZilla for defamation. Phase K is a public figure. He has tens of millions of social media followers. And in order to prevail on a defamation suit when you are a public figure, you likely need to show an elevated level of causation, of actual malice. I'm sorry, but that's not the actual correct terminology. Like I said, I'm just going through this very quick. Additionally, Phase K will likely need to show specific damages, meaning the damages were caused by CoffeeZilla. And this is almost nearly impossible to prove when you have tens of thousands of people tweeting or reporting on every single thing you do, especially when there is something allegedly very noteworthy, like allegedly running a crypto pump and dump. But likely it would be very hard to prove that CoffeeZilla was the cause in fact of Phase K's specific damages. CoffeeZilla even addresses this kind of to a point in his latest video when he says Phase Clan let Phase K go, or I guess I should just say K now, let K go. And CoffeeZilla didn't have anything to do with that. They say, among other damages, your false statements have caused Phase to terminate Mr. Kudrati's relationship with it. And Mr. Kudrati may as a result lose millions of dollars of revenue and that's, of course, what they're suing me for. See, here's the thing. Their lawsuit is saying, I caused this. I'm the I'm the guy responsible for re getting K removed from FaZe Clan because FaZe Clan had no involvement with our members' activity on the cryptocurrency space. But you know who actually already admitted to this? Not me. I didn't say it. FaZe K himself came out prematurely, you know, before I even had time to make my big video, and said confessed to his altcoin thing. He said himself, it was irresponsible for me to speak publicly about coins without knowing more. That was FaZe Clan's internal decision to let him go. How are you gonna prove that his one video is the reason why they decided to release him? In my opinion, this is a slap lawsuit. What is a slap lawsuit? That's a great question. For that, let's consult Google. This is the very first page when you Google Texas slap law. SLAP stands for a strategic lawsuit against public participation. The name describes a lawsuit filed to stop a person or group from speaking out or exercising their First Amendment rights. The person or business suing you is a true SLAP suit, often claims that you have damaged their reputation or wrongfully interfered with the right plaintiff claims to have but really they just wanted to intimidate you into silence. It's no secret that lawsuits can be very expensive and oftentimes defending a lawsuit can cost tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not more. But if you plan to take a case all the way to trial, it is not unreasonable for you to have to spend two, three, four hundred thousand dollars $400,000. And if you think about it, that makes sense because my private jet is not gonna pay for itself. And as a result of the cost associated with litigation, it is foreseeable that a party with a lot of money bully a party with less money because they could simply just drain their resources. So you don't have to be right. You just have to be rich. But only if there was a law to help combat that. Oh, wait, there is. Let me introduce you to anti-slap laws. 
In Texas, the law that protects people from slap lawsuits is called the Texas Citizens Participation Act. It protects your First Amendment rights, such as free speech, the right to petition, ask the government for help. The right to association is often referred to as the anti slap law. An anti slap motion to dismiss. This motion asks the court to promptly end the lawsuits that violate the Texas Citizens Participation Act. Help paying for the lawyer. If you win your anti slap motion to dismiss, the other side may have to pay your attorney's fees. Now I'm going to end this video with a couple other notes that I want to add, and I'm sorry I wrote them down, so I might be reading them. First, you cannot get an injunction against free speech. You can get money damages if the statements are defamatory, but you cannot get an injunction. So hypothetically, let's say Coffeezilla is being defamatory and he is defaming Phase K. Phase K's lawyer cannot get an injunction to prevent Coffeezilla from continuing to post. You cannot get an injunction on free speech, only money damages. Second, in order to recover damages for defamation, you need to prove that the statements were false. An exaggeration or hyperbole do not count. You need to prove that the statements were false. Truth is an absolute defense to defamation. Third, because Phase K is a public figure, likely in order to prevail on defamation lawsuit, they would have to prove that Coffeezilla knew that the statements were false and still decided to publish them anyway. That is that heightened level. Fourth, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, they would need to prove specific damages, meaning they would have to show that Coffeezilla's video caused X to happen, meaning they would have to say, because of Coffeezilla's video, I was fired from FaZe, not for any other reason, but solely because of this video. Nearly impossible. And finally, the penalty for filing a lawsuit that violates anti slap is mandatory attorney's fees, costs, expenses, and sanctions. So if I was Coffeezilla's lawyer, which I'm not, if Coffeezilla did get sued, the very first thing I would do is file an anti slap motion. But there is some light at the end of the tunnel, or at least that's how I see it as a licensed Texas lawyer who has won millions of dollars in court. <coughs> so there's my opinion. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. Short, sweet, to the point. I am tired. I need to go to bed. I have a big mediation tomorrow. Wish me luck. Hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. I think we just passed 360. 5,000 subscribers. All right, y'all. Bye.